Welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel if you're a subscriber and been here before. I want to go over some of my handbags that I haven't done a video on yet. So this is the first time to do a video right here with you. And it's on some of my other hand uh, leather bags. Check this one. I thought I had them all out, but I see another one I have on my, on my shelf. I want to check that real quick. Okay. Um, anyway, I want to go over, because I had a lady um, say, I would like to see your other handbags that you have that aren't um, not so much luxury um, handbags. So we're going to do that today. We're going to do that. I want to show you what my handbag for today is. And it's this beautiful, beautiful coach. And it's got my little bling, my coach bling on it. This was on my top five for last year. And um, I love it. I love it. It's so easy to carry. I just slip it on my shoulder. Go. And I love it. I love the color of it. And it's so springy. So I'm glad I have that. Okay, I'm going to start with this one that I had on my shelf. Um, it's stuffed. I, I like to stuff all my handbags. It is that really soft, really soft leather. And I'm a big fan of that. I don't also, I don't so much like the structured bags that um, don't have any give, you know. So I'm always usually looking for a really soft hand, handbag. And um, I got this, I think, at TJ Maxx. Yeah, I got it, got it at TJ Maxx for $49.99. Well, my Hanger, my fingers are not wanting to work. And um, it's genuine leather. Of course it would be. And it's got this little front pocket here. This little slap, snap closure. It would be perfect for your phone right here. And it's got a big back pocket. And it's really big. It goes all the way down. It goes all the way down here. So... It's also got another zip pocket right here in the front, and it goes probably down to about right here. I really love this leather. It smells so good, and it's so soft. It's got a leather strap, and it's just that really soft stuff. Just really super soft. If I didn't have the stuffing in there, it'd probably collapse. That's how soft it is. And then in the big opening, I do have it stuffed. It's got another big zip pocket right here on the back. And it's got two slip pockets right here on the front, too. And, you know, I don't really like the big, long ones, the big, long slip pockets that don't have any zip because when you go to put stuff in your bag, everything gets caught on it. So this one's, uh, it says handcrafted, handcrafted, in Indi India. It's handcrafted in India. I don't really know that it has a name on it per se, but let's see the tag. But that's the first one. Okay, and then I picked this one, this um this wallet. Doesn't have birds. I thought it had birds on it. Kind of looked like it. Oh, it does have birds on it. But anyway, I kind of got it because it was the same kind of leather. And I really liked the way it opened and closed. So this little thing flips up. Well, my nail won't catch it. It just kind of flips up like that. And comes open. And you have several card slots here. One, two, three, six card slots. And then you have card slots here. And then it opens up, and you have a slip pocket here, zip pocket, another slip pocket, and another smaller, my, uh, more tighter one right there. You could put cash or something in it. The tag on here says 119. 
And this is, I got it, I paid at TJ Maxx, I paid $39.99. So I'm not real sure if you if that's coming through, but it's $39.99 is what TJ Maxx was selling it for. And it is a per, Patricia Nash. This is the brand of this one, Patricia Nash. And this is also a really, really soft, really soft leather. I just am a big fan of that. And um, I just love it. Okay, so I think a couple of you were curious about this one. This one. It's got that slip pocket in the back. And it's perfect for a phone to fit in there. And let's see here. This also is Patricia Nash. And it does come, it did come, I've used this once already. It did come with a crossbody strap. So you can wear it that way. Let's see what I, let's see what here. I got these at Dillard's. And this has $179. So $179 for this Patricia Nash. I hope it's coming in. I hope you can see it. And it's got the little card. I keep that in the side pocket right here. I don't really use that little side pocket that's inside handbags. I mean, if I have a receipt or something I just want to hang on to or lose cash, I'll put it in that. But in the most part, I just use those as a zip pocket in there. On the most part, I just use them to keep the care cards and what the what the handbag is and what the label is and all that stuff. So this one's kind of cool. So if you can see, there's a slip pocket here. And then on this side, you have two, well, you have a zip pocket on the other side and two slip pockets right there on this side. And the liner in here feels like it's a... A crushed velvet or it could even be a um, I don't know it looks like a crushed velvet inside inside the handbag it's got those little soft pockets in there but I just I love it I love the feel I love the the softness of it it's super cute if you have the right outfit it is super cute I know I wore it that day and I had some compliments on it that day that I wore it. I'm going to put the stuffing back in here. And I usually put my, I don't know if you can see, but I put the dust, dust bags over here. But this one, for some reason, I just kept it inside this handbag. Now, this is the wallet I got to go with this. This is the wallet that I have for it. And the wallet is Hobo. I guess that's the name. And it was $78. And I got these at Dillard's. It's got a little zip. I haven't used this wallet at all yet. And it has a cute little, has a cute little fabric lining. With a little, cute little, pretty little um, fabric inside there. And this one is really super soft super soft okay so it opens up it's got several card slots one two three six seven eight it's got eight card slots and then it opens wide here for cash and stuff that i don't have because i spend it all money on handbags and wallets so that's what that is I hope I'm covering this enough. I hope you guys are getting enough information from it. And I have changed for location. And now I have it over here. Like that. You'll see that probably later. Okay, let's do this one. Huh, it's almost just like the other one. So you can kind of tell that I like these kind of bags. I have a few this color, so... Well, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so this is super cute. I like this one too. And I like this one because it's got little fringy things on it. It's got one on the front. It's got one in every po uh, every zip pocket. It's got one. And then when you're wearing it with the strap, it's got the fringe right here. 
and it's got a it's got a slip pocket in the back right here it's vase <laughs> oh my gosh I was wondering what happened to this okay anyway that I better take this out I might I might need to put it in one that I'm using right now you know how when you use a, a handbag and I go back to get it later um there's stuff in there there's receipts there's all kinds of stuff so and the and this little top thing i'm not too crazy about the way this opens and closes you can just snap that loose and really i mean that's i don't really i don't know why this is like that i don't know <laughs> i don't know but i like it i like it because of the material the leather you know it's just super 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 soft and i love it so then it's got another zip here and the back is the leather or the back of the zip pocket and the front is like the the fabric okay it's got that big pocket in the back i just like all the fringy stuff it looks so it's either hippie or western. I guess you could go either way with that. So, oh, oh, it's stuck with all kinds of stuff. And this one is a Lucky Brand. That's what it's called, Lucky Brand. Okay, it's got a really big. It fits a lot of stuff in there. It's still pretty big. So it's got a zip pocket on this side, right here, and on the other side, it's got two slip pockets right there. See that? Okay, I'm gonna stuff this stuff back in there, and it's also got the little zip pull inside here with the zipper. It's got also a little pull thing. I'm gonna have some receipts. I better check if I have anything else. And yeah, it's probably goodies in there. I would kind of like to find a company. So if you guys know, I know there's so many out there, but I would like to find a company that's right here in the United States. Um, so it doesn't take so long to get, but I would like to find some of those purse organiza organizers, some of the purse organizers for some of these bags so I don't have to stuff them with all those, all that paper. But that's this one that over there I'm gonna do this side and then I got some over here on this side okay and so when I started telling my husband about how crazy I am about handbags um one of our um early on in our marriage like 11 years ago he bought me this purse and I like the color because I don't have, I only have like one, two other gray bags. So I really like gray, but it kind of looks, I like the little, I don't know what these are called. I don't know what these things are called. I call them knobbies. I don't know. That, <laughs> but if you guys do know, I'm going to backtrack a little bit. If you guys know about a company that's located here in the United States, could you guys like put it in the comments, like a, a purse organizer or something where I could go or even order some to fit in some of these bags. If you've got a, if you know about a place, um, just let me know. Okay, so these are so cute. And it's got the little snap closure on both of these. I don't know if you can see the pattern on there. And I can't, I can't honestly remember if this came with it, but I don't. I don't think so. I think I added this charm. I think I added this. Here's the side. It's got a little zip. I mean, a little buckle. I don't think that comes loose. That does not come open. It's got this zip pocket in the front. So pretty. I love that. I love that material. Oh, that. So cute. Okay. And then on the back, he bought this at Sam's. You know how Sam's has like jewelry and all kinds of, that would, that would fit a phone. They have all kinds of jewelry and they do have handbags and they have watches. And I, 
I'm not real sure over there on that cabinet if they have perfume and stuff, but I know that they have, you know, nice handbags. And so I'm going to take some of this out, let you see what's inside. Okay, so don't laugh. Don't laugh, please don't laugh. Um, a long time ago, before before I knew much about handbags and stuff like that, I used to stuff my purses with clothes. And that's what's in here. I, I want to say that these... This is a jacket. This belonged to my grandfather. I can't believe this is in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this... This is a jacket my grandfather wore. Oh, wow. I did not, I was not expecting this. It's kind of like a Western style, um, kind of like a Western style jack, uh, dress jacket. Dry clean only. I can't believe this is in here. Oh my gosh. It's been a while since I used this handbag and I don't, ah! sorry. That's hilarious. Anyway, but it, you see how floppy and the leather is. I just love that. And look how beautiful it looks inside. I just love the. You know what? I have a. Rec I have some receipts in here. I wonder what the date is on this. Let's see. Uh, Thirteen. Twenty thirteen is the last time I. Don't tell my husband. Anyway, I got some pennies down the bottom. Can you guess what this is? Can you can you guys guess what what brand this is? Do you guys have any idea? Um, just by looking at it. Okay, so this is super cute. It's been a while since I used this handbag. It's really big, and I've been sticking with a lot of the smaller ones lately. And it's got the tag in this in the pocket inside. It's got the tag here. It's Allison Scott. Did any of you guys guess it right? Allison Scott. That is the name. And it's in that little, it's in that little um, zipper pocket. But look at this. Look at this little, look at this little pocket in here. Isn't that super cute? It's got a little charm hanging from it. Super cute. I like that. It's like I'm getting it for the first time. Okay. And then I have two little slip pockets here. You know, they're separate in there. Okay. So I'm going to put my grandpa's jacket back in here. Oh my gosh. Discovery. Oh my goodness. I... I'll probably change that out later, but it's so big and it's hard to stuff it. I mean, you have to have a lot of stuffing for that, but it worked perfect to stuff it. You know, it kept its shape and stuff all this time. Okay, so that was that one. And spring and summer, I really like to wear this with my straw floppy hat. I think it's super cute with sundresses, and I can't tell you for the life of me where I got it, but it was probably at, I want to say it was probably at Marshall's or TJ Maxx or something like that. I'm not positive. I can't really tell you, but I've used it a few times, and I like it because it's just open. There's nothing um, to keep it closed, so I can just... In and out. I mean, it's really easy. But anyway, it's cute. It's cute size. It's kind of hard to tell when you got it up here. It's really hard to say or to tell. Like, man, that looks gigantic, but it really isn't. I mean, it's it's not really big. So that's that one. I don't know the name of it. It doesn't have a tag inside. It doesn't have a pocket or anything inside. Okay, so I've got this one. And I got it because I love the way the look of the leather is. And I actually got it for my laptop. That I have a net flowery one. Because I'm just that girly. Just that girly because I couldn't. 
but it would it's perfect for a laptop and i like the leather i just really i like the softness of the leather leather and this is cute little and this is uh i want to say it's well it's all run together because it's kind of hard to make out alessa alessa capri i think um, and I, I know I got this like at TJ Maxx. I know the tags on here. I haven't used it yet. It's been in the top of my closet. It's been in the top of my closet and, um, the dust bag is in here and here. And it really only has one slip pocket right here. Let me see how big this slip pocket is. I wonder if I got anything in there. No, it's about average size. So, but it would be perfect for a laptop. I just haven't used it yet. I haven't really had to use it. I haven't traveled or anything to, to need it. But it does have two slip pockets here. It would be perfect for like pens or, you know, kind of like whatever you would need it for like that. So, I'm going to stuff it back so it keeps its shape. But this is really, it's really cute. And it's got this little fringy thing. Have you seen the pattern? <laughs> Have you seen the pattern? Oh my goodness. All right. So that one's done. That's all for this side. Okay. Isn't that so cute? So I have some clothes that I wear in the springtime and stuff. And I have a picture. I believe I still have it. And if I do, I'm going to pop it up over here. So you guys can see um, what it looks like with the outfit I normally wear this one with. And this was a gift. My aunt my aunt gave me this handbag. I really like it because it's kind of 70s. It's kind of like a 70s style. And um, I like this little chain part right here. And then the little Liz Claiborne um, purse charm that comes with it. It's super soft me and my super soft okay so let's check out the inside it's pretty cool so let's do this side first it has a very long zip pocket here it's almost the it's almost the size of the bag almost but see like what i'm talking about like if i were to go stick my try to put stuff in and out i would just be hitting that if it didn't have a zip it's <sighs> just a pet peeve of mine okay so this is pretty cute it's got this big long leather tag here and then it's got a little zip pocket right here there and then it's got another pocket right here and then it's got little pen holders right here pencil holders and then another just regular slip pocket it's so cute i mean you really could put a lot in this i mean to see the size of it more longer than than anything but and then on the back it's got a really long another pocket great for phone there's no telling what i'm gonna have in here so i found a purple eraser okay let's see i've got a dime got some gum wrappers and a dime and I got an old gold neck chain, gold chain right here. I don't know if that's real. I don't know why I would keep it if it wasn't. Let's see, it's got a little, it's got no, oh, it's, it's sterling silver. It's gold over sterling silver. And um, that's what I found in my pocket. I haven't gotten these bags out in a little while out stuffing but when I wear certain outfits I will get them out because I like matching you guys know I was voted the most color coordinated kid in school can that's just crazy and and I'm like at the time I was like are you kidding me really but now I'm like how did they know <laughs> all right so I have this really soft black leather handbag 
I'll show you the front and the back. I'll show you the front in a minute, but I want to show you this slip pocket right here because it's got the fringe, little fringe. It's actually like a little belt. Looks like a little belt. Anyway, my pocket. But it's just so soft. Just soft. And I just love it. And it's got a hang tag here. And this is St. John's, St. John's Bay. That's what it says. And I know that I got this at like a Goodwill or something like that or a consignment shop. You know, I, I know for sure that's probably where I got this because I remember kind of when I got it. But this is really cute. Look at this little front pocket here. Bam. It's like a wallet. It's got two slip pockets here and it's got one, two, three, six credit card slots and then a big one, you know, the big top one. You could put more. It's like a wallet in front of your handbag. I think it's a really cool idea. And it's really, it's not real heavy. It's not weight. It makes a great crossbody. I have wore this. I'm probably going to find all kinds of stuff in this one, maybe. But um, there's two. There's two slip pockets here. And then a big one. It's got the leather, leather tag in it. And then it's got another, so it's in here. Oh, it's just got those salt packets in there that zip pocket but anyway i really like this one it's lightweight i like the leather strap it's all really really well made i had this is probably the only one i've ever had that was the saint john's bay and it's old this handbag it's old and look it's still great shape great you know great shape it's about that wide i'm not going to measure anything but that's that one we have four or five more to go. All right. So I got this at Dillard's. And I remember when I got it. Okay. I'm going to ask. Do you guys ever get purse fever? If you've gone a long time without getting a purse handbag. If you've gone a while. Do you ever get like purse fever like you gotta have one you gotta go shopping you gotta like get a new one anyway i do that so this is one of those purse fever things that i went and got i don't like this curling up thing and if it had one of those loops that help hold it down it wouldn't do that but this is really soft really soft leather i can't i don't know if you can see it or tell what I'm talking about, but it's got that really thick shoulder spot right here. And I like the color. And this is a fall handbag for me. I would consider this fall. And I got and I got it for that reason. So it's got a really big zip pocket right there in the front. Oops, got it caught. It's got these little buckles right here in the front. It's about that wide. And it's got a back pocket right here. It's really, it's really deep. It's really wide. It goes all the way down. And then, let's see. Can anybody guess? Anybody want to take a guess and see if they, if they think they know what brand this is? It's that soft, soft leather. Mm, I love it. Okay, so we take the stuffing out, and then we'll both know what it is. Okay. Oh, I can't see any. I can't see, but right here in front of me, I don't have my glasses on. And um, oh, I got receipts. I got pins. I got a penny, a key, um, ring, a pin. I got receipts in here. I'm almost scared to see when's the last time. Oh, not that bad. 2018, when I went to Aspen Creek. There may be some other ones in here. Oh, there's a lot of receipts in here. Um, This was from... I don't take forever trying to look for, for a date on here, but... I have several. Let's see. 2018, so I guess it was right around 2018. I had these receipts in here. And then I got a hair clip. Oh, it's fine. 
Okay, so I'm not familiar with the brand. It's got the zip pocket against the back side of it. And it does have the, oh, it just has the one pocket. It has one slip pocket right there in the, in the, in the front. But this brand is Tano, Tano, you guys know? I don't know, it says Tano, T-A-N-O. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I'm not real sure, but you know, I'm, I'm putting this receipts and the stuff back in there because it might be a new discovery some other time. I'm putting it all back in there and it's just a really soft leather. I just, I'm a big fan of that. And so some of the other, I don't really have anything that's not like a really soft type of leather. I don't think so. I guess, <laughs> oh well. Okay, so I do decorating. I've decorated people's homes and rooms and closets. I've done a lot of decorating. And this is my work bag for that. Like if I go to someone's house or whatever. Super cool, huh? It's got, I thought it had a pocket on the front, but I guess it doesn't. But look at the bottom. It's a really fun bag. It's very colorful and I'm very colorful. And then it's got, I found this one. I think I got this off eBay, I think I got this free with something that I bought, but I'm not sure. So, and then I have my, um, there's an old address on here, but these were ones that I had made up. It's designed by Tanya, and it's just um, uh, my invoice, my invoice tablet. And let's say I got some, I got money in this one too. I found like 11 bucks in one of my purses. That was a good find. <laughs> uh, do you guys ever do that? Like, do you ever like go to a bag that you haven't seen in a while and find all kinds of stuff in it? And these are my, these are my business cards. I don't really want to go into, that's there, that's the front. And I also have on the back. So these are, I don't know if I did that too fast, if you guys even care, but um, and I've got pins in here, let's see, and I've got 30 cents. <laughs> anyway, that's what I have in that little deal. I usually keep it in here, in here all the time. And then I have my measuring tape. You always, you always need one of these if you're going to go do it. But you know why I like this so much? And I don't know why I'm getting off the subject, but if you can see the measuring tape, it has, I'm not really good with the um, one eighths or one uh, fourth and five eighths and all that stuff, but it's already on here. This is a big cheater one, big cheater one. So I have that in there. And this is the bag that I go to do jobs on. Okay. And then this was a gift also. Isn't it cute? It's very springtime. And it's that soft leather. And this is Saks. The sack. It's the sack. And let's see here. Well, it's got a slip pocket right in the front. A zip pocket. And then it's got the little, little fringy thing. It's not really a fringy thing. It's just a leather tie uh, pull. And the one in the front is a zip pocket, and the one in the back is just a slip pocket. Let's open this sucker up. Ooh, I'm getting a little... I might have to bring me a fan in here, because there's not... There's a vent up there, but I think it's closed. I'm oh, getting... I'm pulling out weird stuff. I mean, I got a... I got a... I don't know. I don't know. It's not as weird as clothes, though. This is the inside. Right here. I think my aunt gave me one of these. And then I also, the exact same thing. And then also my sister-in-law gave me one. So, um, and the exact same color, exact same style and everything. Isn't that cool? So, it has a big zip pocket this is the 
pocket and it's not zipped up it's kind of open so it's kind of hard to tell the difference in the interior lining and the zip pocket so that's it and um on this side there's some slip pockets there's two slip pockets and they're kind of sewn down the middle so it doesn't gap open just hate that anyway so i'm going to put this weird stuff back in here <laughs> i i don't know i don't know so this is cool. I mean, this isn't really like weird or anything, but that other thing was like, what? Why is that, why is that gallon baggy in there? I don't know. All right, so that's this one. And it's kind of long. Like, I mean, you can see how long it is here. But I really love it when I wearing, wear a sundress or something. And when you take all that stuff out, it kind of just collapses and it's just, soft just soft thick fan okay this is the last one hmm okay so this will this will um finish up the video on all my other leather purses handbags okay so let's start with the front and so it kind of like biker looking and this has a little zip pocket right in the front of the pocket so it's almost like, you know, it's, it's, it's not, it's not real big, but you could put money in there <laughs> or cards or something. And then it has another one. So it has the one on the outside right here and the one on the inside. That's kind of cool because the pockets on the front, the dual pockets are not the same. And then this is just a snap, a snap one. Okay. All right. And the strap's kind of cool. Um, the strap is kind of neat. It's very adjustable. You can adjust this and then it has one of the, I don't know if this is called lobster claw or whatever it's called, but it's just got one of those, almost like those ones you wear for keychain, you know, you slip your keychain in here. But on the outside of the strap, it's leather, but on the inside, it's like nylon. It's kind of weird. Okay, so we did the front and then the back is just a big open zip pocket so it zips up okay let's see what we can find in this one no idea okay have you guys figured out what this is yet does anybody know what kind of handbag this is oh my goodness i bet you don't know it does look a lot like the brand so it might not be too hard to figure out Okay, so I'm about to tell you, it is fossil. Fossil? Is it showing up? I can't see that far away without my glasses on. I don't know which way. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it's got a zip pocket back here. And does it have any slip pockets? No, just has the one zip pocket. Just has the one zip pocket. And it's got the little if I can turn this out a little bit. It's got the fossil print and um, it's like a, I don't know, it's kind of, it's not a satin, but it's some kind of thick fabric. I don't know what it's called, but that is, that concludes my other handbags that are not considered luxury, I guess that I've already covered all of these other ones, I think, in videos. I don't think there's anything else I have that have not been covered in video yet. So that's it. That's all I have for you. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I have, I have two more over here. They're not leather. But let me show you. You might, you might, um, let me see if I can get them up on the chair. <laughs> Let's see if you, I've got, I got actually three, four. I got four more. You guys <laughs> ready for it to be a little longer? Because I didn't want to stop. Okay. So, this has got a cool front. It almost like so, it looks like a, a diaper bag or something. It's so big. But it's got a gigantic zip pocket in the back. Right here. And this is a Vera, 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 Vera Bradley. Vera Bradley. I love the colors of this, guys. I just love it. 
and if I go overnight somewhere, if I go overnight somewhere or something, I'm I'm gonna take that. And it's got the the Vera Bradley um, uh, material stuff inside. It has the dust ruffle, I think, or the dust dust ruffle. Oh my lord, I can't believe I said that. Anyway, it's got a dust bag in here. It folds up. It's cool. Okay, and then it's got two slip pockets here. Two big slip pockets. And then this. This is cool. So it's got a mesh. It's got a mesh, mesh, whatever. It's got slip pockets on this side that's that mesh stuff. So you can put like underwear and socks and stuff like that in it. And then I got another bag inside this bag. And a friend gave me this who went to Corpus Christi, um, Texas. It says Galveston. Okay, Galveston Island in, in Texas. So if I go to the beach or if I go to the poolside, I need to take towels and stuff, that's great. And then I have the shoulder straps right here. Mm, and I have one of those smelly things. It smells, it still smells good. Okay, so let's put all that stuff back in there. And I just had that hanging on my hanger over here. I almost forgot it. I almost forgot about this bag. I like it because of the colors, and I like it because it's that quilted look to it, and it's got pockets everywhere. I mean, you can put, you can put everything in here. So I'm going to put it back on the hanger. I just have it hanging like that. So, my brother gave me this as a gift, and it's got, it's got the little sugar skull little thing right here, and it's got two slip pockets in the front, too. And I don't know where he got this, but this is handmade. It's handmade. I think he may have gotten it at a flea market or some of those places where they do arts and crafts. But it's made right here in the United States, which is kind of cool because everything is made in China or Japan or, or Taiwan or whatever. But it's kind of cool to buy local. I mean, it helps out small businesses to buy local. And I try to do that. But it's got two slip pockets here. So it doesn't have no tags or anything in here. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it's pretty cool pretty cool. I'm really happy. My brother thinks of me and he's gotten me a few things. A um, few handbags actually. He's got me another one that was up there, a Junie and Burke handbag. And so this one is Michael Kors and this is actually the only thing I, I own that's Michael Kors. I'm not a fan of his stuff but there is one handbag I would love to have and I will show you a picture right here. And I think it comes like in six to eight colors. And I, when I went, when I first saw it, I was like, oh my God, they have a cool bag. <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys are Michael Kors fan. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to offend anyone. It's just my personal preference that I just really don't care. I think it's the canvas. They have so many things in canvas. I'm not a fan of the canvas. But this is like, I can't even explain what this is. It's spongy. It's not canvas. It's like a spongy stuff. And I have gotten stuff on this before when I've used it. I took it on a trip. This is, uh, this is 1981. Michael Kors 1981. But I got this at, um, I think it was at department store, um, Stewart's or something. Anyway, but it, it's got leather patent on the bottom, patent leather. And, uh, but this is like a, I don't know what this material is. And it's got patent leather straps. And then this does hold a lot of stuff. It's got a giant, um, slip pocket here. Let's see. Let's see. I've got the tag in the side pocket. Let's see. I wonder if this, if it, it'll tell you what the materials are. It says... Materials that have been especially treated to be water. It says, oh, well, that explains it. It says it's special treat, treated with special materials or whatever to be water and stain resistant. Because I've gotten stuff on this and you can't even see where it was at. Because I just rubbed it. I just, you know, kind of scrubbed it. So that's cool. 
I want that. Uh, up and soft damp. It says we use a soft damp rag or whatever, but this is the care bag, care instructions for it. And I have that in that little, that zipper, that zipper pocket right there. And then it's got two, it's got two slip pockets right here. And I think I use this to put phones and cords and all kinds of stuff in it. And I don't know why I keep finding these in my bag and my handbags. Like what? And this is stay a while. This is when we went down to Boston, I think. Welcome to Waco. That's not, oh, I took it to Waco too. I guess I did. Hmm. I didn't remember Magnolia table. Um, I don't remember taking it there, but I've taken this. I've used it a lot. And if I could, if I could, if I knew what this stuff is, I would love to tell you, but I don't know what the material is. But I like this one. I've used it a lot. I love this color. I'm a big fan of the color. Let's put that back there. And this one I got at Goodwill. I got it at Goodwill and I don't think it's leather. I mean, I really don't think it's real leather. It's probably faux leather. It doesn't, I don't think it is real leather. But it's got one little, one little tiny set pocket there. And then it's got a zipper pocket here on the back, which is pretty common, pretty common. But I got it because of the color. I saw it and it was like two or three dollars. I'm like, yeah, I, I, I mean, it's, it's my color. I can go, I can use that. So that's what I have on the hanger. Okay, so now that's all I have for you. And I want to at this time say thank you so much for viewing the video. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up. I try not to do that because my thumbs look retarded, but I try to hold them straight. Does that work? I don't know. Looks crazy. Anyway, so give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If it's the same, if the content you like, uh, if I can cover some of the content you like, uh, please subscribe and tap that bell because you don't tap the bell, you won't see my video right away and you'll be, it'll be popping up on your screen like eight months later. That, that's happened to me when I'm viewing some other people's videos. Anyway, I have a giant mess. It's going to take me longer to clean all this up than it took me to do the video. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to put my glasses back on because I can't see anything over there but lights. Oh, okay. So anyway, I'll see you next time right here on this channel. Thanks. Bye. Oh, I have to reach.